Hi and uh, welcome to this video. In today's video, we'll go and have a look into smart door lock with Logo using SQLite. So this consists of two important things. First one is a quick little mechanism for smart lock and then also logging that whole thing like when was the door open, when was the door closed and so on using an SQLite. And we'll do completely with this without using any memory cards, anything such. We'll do completely on an ESP32 itself. See how exactly it can be and better. So without any delays, let's get into it. So before I could get into it, I just want to take you through like what are the different components and what are the different things we'll be having into this thing. So I'll be using a normal ESP32 out there and a touch pads. So I'll be using a uh, touch pins in ESP32, which will uh, go ahead and sense my capacitive uh, touch. I'll be using that. I'll use the SQLite library for going ahead and uh, storing the data or inserting the data and then curing it later. And then I'll use an LED uh, in this demo to indicate the lock and unlock process. In the upcoming videos, uh, I'll go ahead and show you how exactly I have implemented this in a real life. Comment in the section, comment in the below sections below if you want to see that thing. If you really want it to be a complete product and have a look into how exactly it works. I'll be happy to read. And if I get a good amount of consideration, then I'll surely uh, very soon get with the video where I'll show you the complete. So, yeah, these are the things we'll be using it, and this is how the whole work works. So I'll have a ESP32 over there and I'll be using two touch pins. One will be for turning it on and another one will be for turning it off. So when I press a touch on button, it's going to log a data on the SQL uh, light on a database with a timestamp and a action what has happened that is on uh, sorry, gate open or gate closed or door open or door closed. And it will go ahead and then unlock the lock. Similarly, when I do a turn off, going to uh, send a log data on the SQL light telling that at this time the door was closed the door, door was closed and it will log the door also and the same thing would also be printed on the SQL monitor additionally if you want to have a look into the whole data whole log data you can uh, we would go ahead and then pass a command like read log that will print me the complete log of the data like when it was open when it was log and so on so it's going to be like complete it logger also and a touch base on off also and uh, yeah, we can also implement this later with the additional things. We'll discuss that later. Let's proceed for. Let's proceed now with the quick code here, and then have a look into what are the different things we have with this. So I'm heading back to my uh, code here, and this is the code I have with me. So when it's not visible, here we go. This is a quick code I have with me here, wherein uh, I'm including some fundamental libraries out there. So let me just give you a quick overview into like what are the things I'm including into this thing. So these lines what you see on the first year until the hash includes pdio.h and include the live and sqlite 3 spa.h fs.h the libraries which I'm using to go ahead and uh, uh, import all the li required libraries out there. Secondly, I have with me the first line which is going to Help me uh, format spef if failed. So, which is uh, going to be like specifying whether the format, uh, whether to format the spef file system if it fails to found that file system. And then this line what we have with this const character data callback function called. So, this line declares this constant string data used for the callback function. And then we have a few little thing that is uh, uh, until here. So, static callback until n zero. So, this is going to go ahead and call make a this is a function which is going to be a callback function it's going to handle the result of a database query and it will print that thing or it will print that column names and values for each of them. Then we have a db.open and this is going to go ahead and then open the uh, database or you can in other words say open the SQLite database connection and it takes the database file name and pointer to the database object as the input. So if it is not getting open then it's going to give an error like can't open the database and if it is opening then open data this fully out there so and then we have uh, this one which is in uh, error message so this line what we have at this goes ahead and declares uh, a pointer to a string used to store any error message from the SQL right out and then we have a DB uh, execute so this is the function which will execute the SQL statements on the specified database which we have just opened in the previous one it will take the database object and the SQL statements as the 
do that. And then we have a set of function. So in the set of function, there are a few uh, little things we are doing it. So to be uh, precise, uh, we are starting the serial communication at 752.00, making one pin two as the output, and this is the inbuilt pin, is 32. And I'm going to use this to uh, like mock my lock as a unlock and lock zone. The delay of 1000 and I'm also print ESP32 touch test just to make sure that my touch are and just to have some sort of feedback no one and then uh, proceeding here what I'm also doing is like uh, I am uh, uh, like yeah just uh, calling my SQLite 3 database uh, DB out there and then I'm seeing like formats if it fail like just in case if the I fail to mount the file system I'm going to do this thing and I'm going to also list the scripts contents like whatever we have uh, List contents out there and uh, I'm also going to do one more thing that is I'm going to check whether uh, it's uh, like remove the existing file first so I'm going to first check like whether this particular DB is existing or not so like if it is then I'm going to remove this name DB out there because I'm going to create one for it I'm going to initialize it and then that uh, DB out there and then I'm going to create a table called gate logs okay so I'm going to do this whole thing for a gate log I'm creating a table called gate logs having a timestamp as a uh, one column and other one as an action this is going to be a timestamp default current timestamp which has been defined in the pre uh, function and then this is going to be a text whether it is closer so on and then I'm going to close the TV out. and then we have a loop statement here so what I'm just doing in the loop statement is I'm creating open switch and close switch which are going to be uh, connected to number 12 and pin number 13 that's it 12 and that's it uh, 13 out there so this is going to be uh, 12 and if the open switch what we have at this so if the open switch is uh, like less than 50 then it, the, it logs an action called gate open and then makes the detail right to comma one that is the uh, pin number two that is inbuilt LED high this is going to be like gate has opened so this here it can or your any other functions can go like servo turn on or motor turn on whatever it is or you know it turn on that can go here Similarly, when it is less than 50 for the close switch, I'm going to turn it off. And then I just mentioned to you, uh, like, like I can also go ahead and get the whole log itself, right? Like, what is the log of the whole data uh, when it was open, when it was closed, and so on. So for that, I'm just saying the CL communication. If the ACL available out there, then if it is read log command is being passed, and I'm calling the read print create logs, which in turn is going to go ahead and get me the complete log. Now I'm creating one function called uh, uh, log gate action so this log gate action function is used to log the gate actions into the SQL light database we'll open a connection to the database and create an SQL statement with the given actions and execute it using the DB execute which is being defined the top. so you can see this here so it's open into the gate logs or wait action values and so on and then close it so this is what and read and print gate logs this is going to help me in printing the whole database so it is going to retrieve and print the log data from the SQLite database it is again going to open the connection to the database and then uh, record all the things whatever we have been uh, into it in the gate log table and print the result into the using the db execute again which has been defined at the top so because that is the one going to help me execute all the queries out there and here I'm going to make the uh, query for going ahead and retrieving the data and if any error occurs then it will uh, like uh, uh, any error occurs during the execution it is going to close the database connection and then finally done so this is a simple little code you have it here and uh, yeah now with this thing being done now it's time to upload this code so i have this select com form four of that and i'm going to upload this code here so now i'm clicking on upload code here and then let's see what happens with this so I have my uh, ESP32 connected here. So just have a look at this. This is my ESP32 connected to this thing here, and uh, that's getting uploaded. So let me just wait for it to get uploaded. So it's getting uploaded. I'll just wait for it to get uploaded. So it's getting uploaded finally here. So let me just wait for that to get uploaded again. It. We'll go ahead and open the it's done uploading here. And now let's go to the uh, sale monitor and have a look into the sale monitor to see like what really happens and also see the uh, functionality of this thing. So I have connected this uh, 
two probes out there if you just have a look at this two probes out here so this two probe uh, one is connected to the b12 and other one is connected to the uh, d15 out here and this is going to help me in uh, getting this whole thing being done so i'll just touch each of this thing and based on that touches i'm going to have the uh, log happening so we'll just wait for that let me open my uh, seal monitor now and then see what really happens with it all right so my seal monitor is open up there and then uh, this has uh, been turned on so i'll just press this uh, reset so that i can show it to you what happens if we just have a look at this it says that uh, it has created open database database successfully out there and table gate lock has been created and so on now uh, i have this two uh, two wires this each one of them is going to help me uh, do one specific function right so let me uh, just go ahead and then try doing it so when i touch this one let me see what happens so when i touch this so it says that uh, the gate has opened and the led is glowing right and you can also see that it has uh, logged in here the gate has opened yeah, the gate has opened, right and now when i touch the other one so now it should the gate has logged and the light also turned off and you can also see that the data has logged Similarly, when I touch this, it opens, and I touch this, it closes. So, instead of doing this thing, what I can also do is like I can just connect it to some uh, metal piece or might be a aluminium foil, and then make it touch kind of a thing. So, just touch them, and they just go ahead, turn on, turn off, and I can log the data. And you can see this like it's really working perfectly fine, and so, so this is working perfectly, right? Now, the next thing which uh, we have to do is uh, along with this thing is uh let's check whether the whole data is been getting logged properly or not and what is the how can we read it all right so for doing so what i just need to do is i need to go ahead and uh, uh now proceed here and that is i'm going to go ahead and then write a command as mentioned earlier so there was a command called as read log right so the command was read log so i'll just give a command here read log and see what happens i give a read log here a center and you see this like it has given me the whole date here like times and this 1970 because i don't really configure the year and this thing so it's just giving me a uh, normal date, date and time so you can just configure this thing and you can see this like uh, 24 30 50 and so on so it is just giving me the time based on that right so whenever i had been this it has just given me what happened in this action what is the time and so on and that's done well with it so this is how you can go ahead and use sql light along with your usb light zone and then log the data like this retrieve the data like uh, retrieve the data the other data by the data data tables data database and so on and also make sure that your iot projects are having some sort of logging functionality so that it is much more interactive much more like not just a dummy project instead like it is responsive and effective feedbacks and there is some sort of uh, data being uh, recorded and so i hope you love this thing and uh, you got to learn something with this thing and yeah there's one quick little thing is like you can find the i'm using a library here which is sql light okay so i'll just show you that i'm using sql light easily to library out there so this is the library which i'm using you can find this thing in the github anyways i'll uh, provide a link for this uh, along so we can just go ahead and then Get this library from there and then you can go to the sketch and then into the library and add a zip library and choose that library import it firstly and then remaining other things are already available so you need not or really or do anything else so this is all we have to do with and with this we're done so i hope you enjoyed this and do comment in the uh comment below if you want to see this whole thing as a project working on a real gate as a whole product completely uh if i just get a good amount of responses then i'll get that quick soon so until then uh take care and uh, do comment below how you feel about this and share this with others and if you have not subscribed to the channel please do that because that motivates me to uh, keep going further and keep getting you good contents and so on so until next time take care